Hello folks and welcome back to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than our standard 3D printer vlog. Basically uh, what I've decided to do is turn this into a general project vlog because I have a lot of projects going on at all times and of course there's tons of little things I can vlog about. Not all projects are worth an entire video mind you or at least they're not worth their own you know dedicated video but more or less just like a vlog type approach where I just vlog what's going on with these particular projects I'm doing here. Just wanna give you all a small update, uh, just a piece of what's going on with the 3D printer. I got the washers for the wheels. However, I need to get metal spacers for the, um, the actual, instead of these plastic ones here. And also I need to go ahead and grind these down to where they'll be about a, correct length because at this current time they are uh, basically seizing up the uh, roller bearings because they are these uh, screw heads are too wide so gonna need to sand those down so what i've done here is i have went ahead and i have created a jig in freecad as you can see here there's a uh, that is where the screw is going to go there's a place to hold a thumb and of course place to go ahead and pull or put the screw or two bolts through so the way it'll work is we'll have two captive nuts here and basically what these will do is they'll lock into each other so it'll have just something to keep it between the jig or inside the jig so these will be able to tighten up to each other and then bind and then this thing will free spin in the jig while it'll be it'll be of course held securely in place just a lot of allowing it to be spinning freely on the sander so that I will be able to sand the entire round surface to about uh, about eight millimeters. Right now it's about 10 millimeters, give or take. I will uh, upload a free CAD as well as an STL file in the description for anyone interested in just this particular jig here. So there's the update for the 3D printer vlog here. Now on to our new scheduled content. Okay, on to our next part of our vlog here now. Just wanna show you all my current camera rig. This is my vlogging camera rig here. This is just a Canon EOS M2. It's uh, heavily modified to my liking here. I have an EOS M grip, which I have a, one of my first videos on my channel here. I think it's like my third video actually, has the guide on how to grind this down at the bottom. Um, of course, as you can see here, uh, kind of hard with the Joby. This part all right here has been carved out so it'll accommodate the battery door. And then of course, yeah, as you can see, it just all kind of dribbled to hell. <laughs> and then of course, blue tack, there is a, uh, it's basically supposed to be a battery bypass adapter that goes to an AC adapter, but I hacked off the AC adapter part because it was pretty cheap. This thing that is rubber banded right here is indeed the uh, battery pack for this camera. So this is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. The uh, replacements are 1100 milliamp hour. I think it's like 875 or 900 something for the stock ones. So it's about five times as much capacity as you would normally get, which is a lot better. I can, f I haven't really tried, this is the first time, this is actually the first day I've been using this battery pack. It's worked pretty good. Rubber bands are necessary because these, uh, this is just meant for a charging station and not really for, you know, day to day use. So I had to kind of, and put little notches there, modify it, zip tie it, of course, make it so the battery wouldn't move out so the, it wouldn't disconnect. And then it just blew, the wire just blew tacked here so it doesn't interfere with the LCD or any other functions. And of course I have, let's see here, make sure we're centered up right. This Movo grip, I'll put the link to this in the description. And then zip tied to it is a piece of foam. What I do is I, I affix this to my forehead like so. Whenever I'm hold, I'm hand holding the camera, just to get a more stable shot. And then of course I have like all the brands and stuff taped off here. And this is a Movo shock mount up top, attached to this is a Tascam DR05 with a little uh, Wind Dead Cat dealy. So as you can see, you got the on off button. You can buy grip tape from IKEA. It was like two bucks for this whole roll right here. So I cut out an itty bitty piece and put it on the power button. So that when I actually have, when I do the overhead rigs for my cooking videos for Cookery Wizardry, and this is on the uh, overhead tripod rig, I can just press this button here and I, I can actually feel this button. And of course it's attached to a Joby Gorilla head tripod or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Joby Gorilla Pod. 
that's really about it folks hope y'all like this little bit here i might throw in something else here we'll see all right folks it is time for a good little two tool review here it's another little thing a little segment i'm going to introduce in our, my vlogs I may not have this every vlog but I'm just going to show you all some tools that i use today's tool as you guessed is digital calipers these are essential if you want to do any sort of 3D printing, computer-aided drafting, or anything with a, anything that requires fine measurement like calibration, what have you. So I have a few here, from a crappy to pure awesome. Let's start with the Pittsburgh Harbor Freight uh, made in China type deal here. Uh, just turn it on and banged it, and <laughs> I don't even know how to turn it on. I didn't even press the button, but oh well. As you can see. Um, the uh, failure, of course, let's zero that out. And yeah, it takes a little while to get back to zero. That one's pretty crappy. This is the eye gauging origin cow. You can get these for about 30 to 60 bucks on Amazon. And then the uh, the king of all calipers, the Mitutoyo calipers. These, uh, I think they run anywhere between 120 to 160 bucks if you want to get them certified. They're, they're pretty expensive, but they are well worth the money because they will give you absolute measurements. This is accurate with like 0 0.02 millimeters. This one is accurate within like 0 0.01 or even finer than that. And of course, it doesn't really measure beyond that. And then like this one is like 0 0.03 to 0 0.02. And yeah, it's pretty iffy as you can see here. Of course, you need to kind of wait for it to average out. So you're going to be wasting a lot of time measuring something like this. Like, oh, 8.5, 8.6, could be anything. And let's check our origin cow. 8.7, okay. And then what's the Mitutoyo say? 8.7, so these two, 4.8.7, and then this one's like way off in 4.8.5, and definitely good to get yourself a good pair of calipers here. If you don't need to measure this particular accuracy, of course, if you're okay with like a 0.3 millimeter, 0.2 millimeter variance, and what is accurate, go with these. But um, yeah, if you want something extremely accurate, get the uh, eye gauging Origin Cal or the uh, Mitutoyo Absolute AOS Digimatics here. I'm gonna put an Amazon link to these as well as the Mitutoyos. Of course, you can, um, I guess I'll put it to a link to the Pittsburgh Harbor Freights, although I wouldn't recommend buying them unless you just need a pair of throwaway calipers here, because as you can see, yeah, they're, uh, you get what you pay for. So there you go, folks. I hope you all like this little tool review type video here. Um, Tell me in the description if you want any particular opinions on what other, other tools here, what, what to buy, and hey, uh, maybe I have them. I probably do. Thanks for watching here. I hope y'all like this new style of the vlog here. Um, in terms of projects in the future, I'm just going to reveal them as soon as I start doing them because I can't really guarantee what I'm going to be doing next. It's kind of just a luck of the draw type thing. Hopefully, I can get this 3D printer stuff going here. Um, don't know when I'm gonna get that shipment of wheels, hopefully real soon here. So fingers crossed that that update will come soon. And of course, as always, like the video if you liked it and consider subscribing. The channel really helps me out here. And of course, get y'all updates for the new videos that come are soon to come. And uh, check out some of our other videos here too. There's a bunch of awesome content that's already on the channel here. And of course, like I said, more to come. So take it easy folks and have a good day. Thank you.